It is now 11:17 on this uh, Wednesday night. Matt here with us this evening. Heard you talking earlier today. Tomorrow sounds pretty nice as these things go. Yeah, and it's still looking pretty nice as mm -hmm. these things go. Hopefully we'll hold. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Russ, tomorrow's going to be the bright spot, I think, temperature-wise over the next, you know, 10 days, maybe more than that as okay. it looks right now. But, you know, December gives, December takes away as well. Uh, so let's get to know the month of December now that we are firmly entrenched in meteorological winter around these parts. December 1st officially 45 degrees is our average high today. 32 is the low. By the end of the month, we get down to 37 for an average high. 25 our average low. We average over a foot of snowfall. This is at Hopkins. Keep in mind, snow belt, obviously a little bit more, but 12.2 officially at Hopkins is what we average. And we're going to lose about 10 minutes of daylight this month. Not too bad, right? As these are the darkest days, but we're going to start to gain at least on that sunset by December 15th. So we'll see what happens from there. It should start to get brighter around here. And speaking of bright, tomorrow's going to be great. Look at temperatures tonight. They're going backwards. We're heading up into the 50s by the morning hours. A great morning at the bus stop. Great commute to work tomorrow morning. It's going to be nice and breezy as well. That's how we get warm air here this time of year. So your forecast preview 40s tomorrow morning will peak in the mid 50s during the afternoon, but then a cold front will go through. It'll still be breezy by evening and that temperature will start to slide. But our daylight hours are looking good at this point. All the rain we had quickly exited out towards the east. It's all gone. Don't have a lot other than puddles to deal with. The little weather system went through. It was actually snow in areas of Pennsylvania, but for us, we were uh, just firmly entrenched in the warmth there. And you can see off towards our northwest, a couple more systems coming at us. This is our system tomorrow. This is a windmaker, folks. Very strong area, low pressure. This is the fifth in five days coming out of uh, the areas of Canada, zipping through the northeast along that jet stream. For us, what we're going to deal with is a warm front that goes through tonight. That will bump our temperatures up as you saw tonight, and it'll keep us on the mild side tomorrow. There's no real big push of cold air behind this, but it's going to be windy. As I mentioned, here are your wind gusts tomorrow morning out the door. Ugh, hang on to that hat. 40 mile per hour gusts possible. They'll remain through early afternoon in the windy category. Then I think we turn breezy very late in the day. So gusty winds tomorrow in National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. You notice the scattered showers we have as well. I think we're going to break into some sunshine, especially later in the day as we get that front through. But we do have some rainfall chances around as well. So we're kind of going to be hodgepodge in terms of what to expect tomorrow. But it will be mild, and then that wind will turn off the lake as we get into Friday. Friday's interesting. Weak system sliding through, but if the models have been consistent in this. Little area of snow and rain mix that just kind of works across the area. Not expecting anything major, but it'll be more precip on the area as we go and into your Friday. All right, big weekend storm. This is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Next week, we've had our eyes on this for a couple days. Latest model runs bring the rain in here Sunday. Changes over to snow and wind on Monday. Kind of raw around here. And then here's where the models diverge on what happens next with that Wednesday system. Euro says snow, GFS says rain. Bottom line, we do have a very, very active pattern that takes shape next week. You can see as we get on into the GFS, yeah, it brings a warmer solution here. That would mean uh, less snow as we get into the middle half of next week. But I think we're pretty set on the Sunday system. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. You can see how we're in the 40s over the next couple days. Sunday's when the rain arrives, rain to snow Monday, and then we'll see what happens after that, but looking kind of wintry. All right, we'll be back with Al Pal in sports next.